I went to student disciplinary committee twice in 311. Walking in see you will be seeing boom trees. The journey was too short. Which journey? My own journey was very long. When I was in school, I know it's not even about to ask Casti, but as I'm at home now, my eyes give me really many breakouts. Because I'm about to relieve trauma. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Adi Keju and you're welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. If you've always been a subscriber, welcome once again. For this episode, I'm going to be talking about my CU experience. I'm going to be talking about what it felt like going through Covenant University and being a Covenant University student. You guys, before I commit this video, I convinced myself a lot because it is a lot to talk about being a CU student. It is a lot and i'm also going to talk about what i'm going to be missing about cu i released the video on my channel what will i miss about cu everybody was saying what oh, is what they will miss this is what they will miss people were asking me that ah, which way is your where is your face relax <laughs> relax i'm gonna give you a full video on my cu experience so if you're interested then you definitely need to keep watching do not forget to subscribe to my channel subscription is free give this video a thumbs up and comment Leave a comment, let's interact in the comment section as you know it. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. I'm going to start with my experience then. I'm going to go ahead and tell you the lessons I learned and see you and then I'm going to tell you what I'm going to miss about see you. <sighs> breathe in, breathe out. Because I'm about to relieve trauma. <laughs> it's cool, it's fine. I'm sharing it with you guys so it's okay. <laughs> hmm. My see you experience. I didn't want to go to Covenant University. I feel like this thing is everybody's mantra nobody really wanted to come to government university we just ended up finding ourselves there and we just didn't have a choice anymore right yeah basically i didn't want to go to government university let's go to a i think i already said that's one of my story times anyway entering government university it wasn't bad because i was coming from a living faith owned school in my mind it was like okay it's the same thing that they are doing here and that they are also doing there right so under level entry under level for me was chill also because i came with my secondary school friends i came from the same secondary school that we were entering common university together so we used to pack ourselves everywhere we were going to chapel we were going to chapel together i didn't bother to make extra friends because i was coming into the school with my friends do you understand so we're always going everywhere together calling each other let's go let's go 200 level for me was sort of chill 100 level and 400 level i got the same gpa so yeah was well, another level i got one of my best results 100 level after semester for me was just like cruise and vibe 200 level was the tightest level like even in the hostel it was the tightest hostel ever like we're three living in one small room like that and 200 level was when covid happened so it was sort of disorganized in that sense but my student level was also chill one of my friends that we came together from my secondary school left in 200 level she traveled out not that i didn't make any friends at all i made some other friends but people from my secondary school like my main friends and stuff so when they started leaving it was a lot for me fast forward to 200 level 200 level was a lot for me honestly and i feel like level they used to say that your penultimate year is, going, is your hardest year in university and i didn't take it seriously until i got to 200 level honestly because 200 level was a lot for me you know emotionally i went to student disciplinary committee twice in 200 level i'm not proud of it you guys but i went to sbc twice the first one i went because i was using my tab in chapel apparently it's a thing you're not supposed to be pressing your tablets or anything in chapel at the time it was a very very strong rule so the man just caught me and my friend gave us offense form i feel this because i had to feel because i was in officer obviously i feel the offense form and then i went to students when i come to oh wait though i didn't actually face sdc did i face sdc that time oh i think we didn't actually face sdc that time but we we're supposed to face but they were not around or something should happen that we should have enough face but we issued a letter of warning and you see you once I issued a letter of warning like it's just preparing because after that letter of warning only one more letter left before suspension so you could have imagined what, my, what I've been going through my mind I'm like hey <laughs> I didn't even tell my mom I didn't tell anyone okay I told my brother because I was like if it was half of my brother I would just be dead the second time I went to SSC was because I made hair in the hostel and that was actually my fault because I used to braid my friends hair and I used to help them braid their hair and make all back so one of my friends posted in our group chat that okay if you want to make your hair go and meet braid your room this this which room this and at that time there was one group that they formed in CU snitches basically but they call them Phineas group so if you see something you say something that was their slang so if they see anybody going against the schools they have to talk 
in CU to the game schools to be selling things in the hostel to be braiding hair in the hostel or anything like that. Apparently, you are blocking the people that are meant to be making, you are blocking the hairdressers from making their money. <laughs> that was what they shall told me when I went there. So I went to ABC for that. That one I actually faced ABC. And when I got there, I told them that they asked me that what did I do? Meanwhile, on the on the slip that you take to SDC, I already wrote illegal sales in the hall. I mean, I'm like, I didn't sell anything. I was also pretty here. And at the time, I had one, one, like, twist on my head. So the chairman asked me that, was it a student that also made the hair happen? I said, yes. It was not like that. Okay, that I was just making it for my friends. That yeah, I said, yes. And I was like, okay, that eh, I should not worry, blah, blah, blah. If you go to SDC and see you, that means that you cannot contest for any leadership position. So, be it your department, be it the school at large, you cannot contest for any leadership position. So I could not even apply for any leadership position or anything because you've been to SDC, even if it's for stealing or if it's just for making a new stuff. Been to SDC, you cannot com- contest for any leadership position. That was cool. The only level was rocky for me because I'm like, hey, God, I was scared at the same time. I wasn't scared because my brother was just like that. Yeah, they want to intimidate you. So make sure that you play their game better than them look them in the eye you didn't do anything wrong you know i actually felt sick a lot in the third level mega semester i don't know why or how but i felt sick a lot i had covid i had to go home that was the first time i was going home from school for something like that you know it really after- affected my mental health my anxiety increased it was linked to covid sort of because i sort of read up about it and stuff so that sort of like followed me into 400 level of first semester right because i still had those anxiety issues like I couldn't sleep well, like anxiety, panic attacks. Spoke to people, obviously, like people were really there for me, people helped me. So, final level for me was Alpha semester was really rocky. In my Omega semester, I had one of my best results also. We call our semester the final Omega. You must know this if you are a member of my channel. <laughs> so, final level Alpha semester was a lot for me because um, it really affected my CGPA. So, at the end of the day, I made a 4.49 because I went really down my first semester because of. Things I was going through and stuff like that. You number one, be open-minded. When I was going into CU, I was very close-minded because I was like, I don't want to come to the school. So I was sort of looking at everybody through the same lens. I didn't make friends. I wasn't open-minded to making friends, meeting new people. I was always in my room. I didn't go for any social activity, anything that is extracurricular, or anything that is not compulsory. You will not find me there. First of all, I just say that if you are going anywhere, you have to be open-minded. At the end of the day, I was like, was it worth it? Like, number two is to surround yourself with people that have the same goals as you, people that are going in the same direction as you, people that are going in the similar direction as you. You can only motivate each other. I'm telling you that. That cannot be overemphasized because at the end of the day, you need people that can motivate you. You don't need to be shy or be ashamed or it is your goal that matters. It's what you want for your life that matters. Nobody's going to help you live your life or bear the consequences of your actions. Number three is to make friends. I wasn't open to friendship, making friends as much and see because I was just, I was just like, I wasn't interested. But at the end of the day, life is short, right? You know, it was not towards my final year. I started making friends and knowing people and I maximize every moment. Make friends. Be open to making friends. Increase your social capital. Be open to networking and stuff. Because going into you're going to meet a lot of people. And making friends is actually one plus for you if you take advantage of that. Put yourself out there. I didn't really put myself out there and see you. And in Covenant University, we have sort of like a community. Because there are a lot of creatives there, there are a lot of people that actually do great, great things in Covenant University. So it sort of gives you like a community. I didn't put myself out, out there. I, I don't know if I was uninterested or what. I was just lazy about it. So I didn't tell a lot of people about things I could do. I didn't do things that I normally would do. And it was not during my final year, I started attending events and going for things and telling people I have a YouTube channel and stuff like that. So yeah, that's one thing I also advise that you do. Going to see, I didn't take my general courses serious until like 300 level or so. Then those bees, 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 if there is, they, they go a long way, honestly. Because at the end of the day, when you see your transcript and you are seeing 9, you are seeing 69, like, I don't understand. It's not worth it. Because you know that at the end of the day, you didn't put effort in those general courses. So those are the things I would say that I learned in CU. And I also advised you to go into CU knowing and doing those things. Oh, limes and mouse. See, see, was stressful. God, he will stress you. When we went for a conversation, people were saying, "Oh, ah, it was too short. The journey was too short. We journey. My own journey was very long. It was short." Oh, limes, I will miss constant electricity and Wi-Fi, but the light was not constant, constant, constant. But at least it was something. It's better than this Nigerian electricity. And when I was in school, I didn't know anything about first casting. But as I'm at home now, my eyes keep seeing. When I was in school, I never used to know when there's first casting or anything like that. But now. Mm. 
so I'll miss that. I'll miss not knowing things are happening in the economy when I was in school. School was like an escape. Like you just be in school, you don't know anything until you come back home. So I'll miss that. I'll also miss the sense of community because I'll see you. There's just this feeling that you get. Even when I was in camp and I saw another CU student, it's just like, oh, like there's just this sense of community. You see, I'll miss that because it was like we're suffering together. So that we at least try to have fun together or not. So, yeah, I miss that sort of sense of community that we had in CU. It was one of the most precious things that happened in CU. As always, there's something to say that I walk in and seeing five people really, so like, CU, there are a lot of fine people in CU, but I believe that I'll see me time between my life. Walking in CU, you, you'll just be seeing fine people everywhere. You'll be seeing boom streets, you'll be seeing different things. I also miss the fact that I could just stroll to one room and see my friends. Right now, everybody work, have gone different ways before we can say okay let's come together again and see how I feel as far my course needs my this my that I need to take a lot and I don't think that's even possible for everybody to come together to see like everybody you know I'm going to miss being able to take a stroll to somebody's room and say okay this is what I want now you have to be chasing everybody up and out with phone text and all of that overall um CU is not a bad place to be it's not a bad school at all there are a lot of things going around about CU on the internet and everything and I'm telling you it's not actually that bad like, it's not that bad. People are like, I cannot survive with you. I cannot, oof. See, it's not a bad school. It's not a bad school at all. It's just, they just do it. They just do too much. They do the most. But at the end of the day, when you cross and you see other people, few students are not all that, but at least, ah. That's how my CU experience. That's basically what happened with CU for me. And I'm looking forward to the new phase of my life. Honestly, I wouldn't do anything to relieve those experiences. Oh, yeah, I'll be asking you. I'll just feel it. I'll just feel it. Feel it. <laughs> that's how I see it friends. you know I know this is from my personal opinion people have different views of how their school went how CU went for them so I hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel take care of yourselves and if you are going to see you just watch videos honestly watch videos know how things happen there it's not a big deal honestly thank you guys for watching my video I love you guys so much if you have not subscribed please don't forget to hit the subscribe button right now and subscribe like this video comment and share this video I love you till we meet again till we see you again <laughs> take care of yourself bye